What's up, everybody? Hello and welcome to the Speaking English Podcast. My name is Sebastian. I'm your host. Thank you for tuning in to our little English videos. You can find all of them in the internet at speakingenglishpodcast.com or you can go to your iTunes uh, store and check in the podcast section, search for Speaking English Podcast and you will find it. And uh, just a little reminder, I very much appreciate it if you go there right now and you leave a raving review saying that this is the best thing you've ever seen. Um, yes, thank you. And of course you can uh, friend uh, the, the show on Facebook, facebook.com slash speaking English podcast. There's a Twitter page if you want and, uh, and there's a YouTube page, just everything there. Episode 166, we've already, uh, we're already in August and um, it has been a while. So I looked at the things that you requested, you know, there's uh, on top of the page, there's uh, a tab called Next Topics and you all put in a lot of effort there and the one with the most votes was this one. Uh, it's pair versus pair. And peer versus peer. Hmm. All right. So, pair. P A I R. It's uh, when you have two of a kind. For example, socks. Socks usually come in pairs unless you shop at a uh, little mismatched, which uh, unfortunately only ships to uh, the United States. So, a pair is two of a kind. Uh, for example, a pair of pants, and that's uh, something you didn't know before, because you have one pant and the other one, and that is a pair. Then you have a pear, P-E-A-R. That's a kind of fruit. This is not a pear. This is an apple. And I'm sorry that my drawing skills are limited. This is not a butternut squash. This uh, is, a, is supposed to be a pear. I like pears um, when they are very juicy, but there are also people, like my wife, uh, who likes them when they're still, there's several kinds of pears and there's a juicy, very, very drippy, watery kind of pear and then there's the one where you really have to bite into and I don't like that one. So that's a pear and both are spelled differently but pronounced the same, it's pear, okay? And then we have peer versus peer. Now the first one, P-I-E-R, is when, or is, um, you can find in a marina. Uh, the marina is uh, the thing where boats lie in the harbor. Um, so maybe you can see this, there's uh, a tiny boat there and there's lots of water. And then this is the pier, that's where you walk on to the boat. Okay, you walk on that wooden thingy and it's kind of wobbly also because it has to go with the tides and you walk on the pier to your boat. Uh, and that's pier. And the other one, P-E-R, um, pier is somebody who is in your social group, so to speak. Okay, so I hang out with people who are, uh, do lots of things on Facebook and like hockey. So those are my peers and they like heavy metal and they like, um, I don't know, House and How I Met Your Mother. So those are my peers. And um, you can also find this in peer-to-peer -peer sharing or peer pressure. Okay, so P2P used to be a hot thing or started out to be a, a hot thing uh, in 2000 around when Napster uh, came along and everybody was sharing music kind of that was peer-to-peer -peer networks which started there and then there's peer pressure which means when you go out with your with your friends and uh, everybody has a shot of tequila and you don't want to and everybody says drink 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 and those your peers are uh, exerting peer pressure on you <sighs> well i was a little bit nervous after so long uh, after taking such a long break, but I think we went through it really well, really well. And uh, I hope you liked it. Pair versus pair, and peer versus peer.
appear. Any questions, you can drop me a comment on the blog, on Facebook. Uh, you can send an email called uh, speakingenglishpodcast at gmail.com. Thanks for, thank you for tuning in and see you next time. Bye-bye.